what you've underst understood the mechanics of, of the application of the firearm to the target and you've got that knowledge okay and you try to go to a match and you try to make it happen that's when it won't happen what you can do as a competitor is only watch it happen and it's going to occur in its own time and usually when you're shooting very good or at your level it looks extremely slow so as a shooter you go oh I'm not shooting fast enough so then you start exceeding where you are as a competitor and then you get choppy because you're out of your realm of reality so what you have to accept as a competitor is if you're seeing well you will execute well but if you try to drive it yourself you're going to mess it up so you just have to see it if you you have if, if you have the mechanical sets of how to handle guns how to do your reloads how to engage targets that's one thing you've got that in the bag so when you go out to a match you have that don't try to drive that just watch watch it happen and if you watch it happen and let it happen it'll happen in its own time and it, it will be your personal best okay I'm gonna jump in here again because I'm not sure you answered the question that he asked uh, and since okay. I you know I, I'm around you enough to know that you have your vision is uh, several steps ahead of of mine, I know. I mean, when we practice a steel challenge, sometimes you say, uh, when you're firing that first shot, you can see everything. You can, you know, you're, you're shooting the first target, yet you want five to go, yet you can see the stop plate, which is 20 yards across the bay. Uh, so I think that's what he's getting at. What the, these vision, this, this, uh, your ability to see so well. I don't know if you can explain it because you've tried to explain it to me, and I know it, it's making sense to you, but uh, because. Every once in a while, I've seen little, little pieces of it. But uh, anyway, address it that way. Vision skills is is a, is a set of skills that's the hardest to train, and it's the hardest for an instructor to train people in. So what you have to be aware of, if you're seeing well, you'll execute well. The mechanical part is gonna is already there. The vision part is the most difficult to achieve, and it's the hardest there is to repeat on command. What I've learned when I've done speed presentations for Smith & Wesson, when I, when I do a demo, I have a certain set of vision skills that I have to use for every stage or every, uh, every part of my exhibition that I do. And, and as a competitor, you have to be aware of, you have to have vision skills that allows you to interact with targets at different levels of depth perception. That's the hardest there is for an instructor to teach a person. But if I'm looking at target sets, I know where to look. I'm not going to stare. Once you stare, your depth perception is way beyond where your target is, way beyond where your sight is. So you have to learn to interact with target scenarios at different levels of depth perception and also vision, uh, field of view. Uh, it's a very hard question to answer. I'm just sitting here and I could, I, it, <laughs> that didn't take me but 40 years and I'm still learning. So vision skills are something I work on every time I go out to the range. I do punch and bag drills where I train myself to see more than one target, maybe see more than maybe five, six targets at a time. So I'm always trying to expand my vision and I'm also very much aware of my depth perception of where my vision is versus what the target requirement is versus where the next target is. Uh, I want to see where I've been, where I'm going and where I should be looking at the same time. So. That's a hard question. I'm probably not explaining it well, but you always want to work with your vision skills. And then once you see it, you can start repeating it on command, and then that's where you're going to achieve your next level of uh, Grandmaster or A, B, or C, or whatever. It's going to all come through vision, vision drills.